so dear student today i have planned to teach you narrations because earlier i have given you very simple ideas of narration but in your exam simple narrations will also be asked and with that interrogative narrations imperative narration will also be asked so today i am going to make you revise interrogative narration see interrogative narrations have two types so we will be discussing all both types in detail and afterwards whatever the work you are going to do today you will be doing same work in your fair notebook keep these notes with you these are very much beneficial notes for you so okay write down all those notes and do practice i will be giving you 10 sentences also after doing practice of these 10 sentences you will become proficient in doing narrations of interrogative and when in your exam mcqs or gap filling when such kind of question related to reported speech will be asked you will not face any kind of difficulty because in your paper in 6 7 8 you were supposed to solve for whole whole sentence but in ninth half of the sentence is already solved you have to fill in the blanks only and sometime mcqs are given you have to put tick mark but if rules and regulations are completely clear in your mind only then you will be able to solve gap filling and this mcqs etc so bachche be proficient in that by attending to me only for 25 to 30 minutes listening to me very very carefully and doing practice also because only not by listening you'll be able to do excel in that you have to write down also when you'll be writing all the rules will be in your will go straight away in your mind and these rules is going to be implemented in ninth also in 10th also narrations will be asked okay so narration or reported speech one and the same thing so simple rules were discussed with you on that a day before yesterday i have discussed simple rules with you now i'm going to discuss narration or interrogative kind right? narration of interrogative type right? so bachche how will you do narrations of interrogative type so pay attention towards it and whatever i'm going to write down you have to write down in your fair notebooks also afterwards okay so now listen now all these rules that i'm going to discuss with you when your reported verb is given in past tense like i said to you why are you why were you absent yesterday okay so i am going to discuss interrogative type one with you interrogative type one with you when your question starts with the w wh like what where when which whose who when your question starts with wh so here we are going to write down wh type and these rules will be implemented when your reported verb like i said it is given in past tense okay so what will be the rule first of all when wh type is given for example i said to you what do you want what do you want i said to you what do you want so read this reported speech this is known as reported speech keep these points in your mind read this reported speech very very carefully and find out which type of sentence is this now tell me what do you want it is your reported speech and this type of sentence is what kind of type of sentence type in chat box i want maximum participation in this way i will come to know that you are attending this lecture carefully or you are only passing your time and you are somewhere else by keeping your class on now tell me which type of sentence is this what do you want hurry up bachche i would be announcing the names divya is the first one dhiren is the second one only two students are attentive in my class others are still sleeping or flying kites i think so jashan okay third one okay only three students out of 18 what about others 
Nitya. Bache, if you are going to attend this lecture carefully, it will be very much beneficial for you. Your four marks are prepared by attending this lecture carefully. In ninth also, in tenth also, in tenth also, you will not face any kind of difficulty. So I just want to appreciate these four students. Let me take their names again. Divya, Dhiren, Jashan, Nitya. Only four have typed correct answer. What about others? They can also type in chat box their answer that which kind of sentence is this? It is interrogative type of sentence. So when we have given interrogative type of sentence and this type comes in the category of type one, it means WH. So how will you do this? So the rule is that set to, it means this reported, reporting verb, this reporting verb. If it is given in said, it will change into ask. This reporting verb said to will change into asked you. And whenever we have been given interrogative type in place of comma inverted comma, you will not write down that conjunction. It means here no conjunction will be used. Clear? Am I clear? Tell me. Clear? Shall I move further? So I asked you after that in place of comma and uh, students, what do they in hurry when they attempt this paper or any test in hurry? This is given in your paper. I asked you. This is given. So in a hurry, they write down, ki, okay, comma inverted comma, so I'm going to write down that. So at the moment, they will write down that the teacher will not read the rest of the sentence they she will put across if that is written. So keep this thing in your mind. You will not be writing that if you are going to change direct into indirect and it is of interrogative type. Okay, you are not supposed to write down that because if that is written, whole of the sentence will be considered wrong. No credit, not even a half credit will be given to you. And you, you should be aware of this thing. In CBSE, half marks are not considered. Half marks are not given. Out of one, it is given out of one, one or out of one, zero. So no half credit will be given. Your whole sentence will be considered wrong. So keep this thing in your mind. When it is an interrogative type, you will not write down that. I asked you, what will remain same? What you now want is a present tense. So present tense will change into, tell me, present tense will change into past tense when reported verb is given in past tense. So what you wanted. And in place of question mark, full stop. Clear? I ask you what you wanted. See, this, this is you, this you is given, it is also you. So it is object, it is a second person, second person changes according to object. Recall that rule, SON, we have discussed this rule. First person changes according to subject. Second person changes according to object. And third person, third person doesn't change. So here is a you, you will change according to object. You will change according to object. Okay, so here you can prepare this table also. It will be beneficial for you. S O N one, two, three. First person changes according to subject. Second person changes according to object. Okay. 
third person changes third person doesn't change okay bachche so you write down all these things as it is in your fair notebook don't you think that you now you are a student of ninth class you will be doing only integrated kind of grammar bachche if you want to excel in integrated type of grammar you have to go through these basics and these things are going to be asked in integrated grammar and it is 101% surety that in ninth also in 10th also interrogative type kind of reported verb are always asked you can see 10 year question papers also last 15 years papers i have seen 15 sample papers i have seen so in everywhere these narrations of interrogative types are asked so you should be proficient in that you should be quite confident that in this i am not going to lose any of the marks in this i have to score marks clear so in grammar just make it your target that in grammar i don't want to lose any mark i have to score full marks by if you follow these kind of rules so this is type 1 that i have told you you write down as it is in your notebook now i will give you some of the sentences related to only type 1 so that you should be well versed in type 1 when you will become comfortable in type 1 your answers will be correct then i will move further to type 2 but i want my students should understand this topic very very carefully so if you have written shall i move further shall i write down the sentences if you have written tell me shall i move further show me thumbs up type in chat box if you have type if you have written okay so bachche after writing these rules write down sentences and i will check when i will check your notebook this topic should be thoroughly done in your fair, fair notebooks otherwise i will give you remarks so write down exercise i will be giving you only five sentences related to wh type okay so write down i he said to me he said to me where are you going where are you going he said to me where are you going next write down i said to him what is your name i said to him what is your name okay write down this after words write down he said to me he said to me whom does she want to contact whom does she want to contact okay whom does she want to contact now write down fourth he said to me what is the matter he said to me what is the matter okay now we have fifth fifth is he said to her he said to her why do you read this book why do you read this book? only these five sentences you are supposed to do in your fair notebook you have to do practice now bachche if you are able to solve these five sentences 
it means rules are clear to you you are well proficient in that you are well versed in that if you are able to do this so don't sit idle pick up pen write down write down answers and if your answer is ready you can raise your hand otherwise you can type in chat box but i will appreciate if you raise your hands also so prande is the first one dhiren is the second one divya very good jashan very good so only four students are attentive in my class dhiren divya jashan fourth one prane arzu okay so divya you tell me first answer yes ma'am he asked me where i was going very good very very good so your answer is absolutely correct he asked me said to will change it to asked me in place of comma inverted comma nothing will be asked where i was going and when it will be asked in the form of integrated in that paragraph form integrated form he asked me will all already be written so you have to write down only this thing where i was going clear very good now next uh next answer i just want to ask only same students others are not attending this topic is not clear to you okay jashan very good you tell me this answer jashan where is she raise your hand i am not able to find out who yes okay jashan unmute yourself and tell me the answer jashan you speak no problem if you are out of station you can speak answer only for one second you have to speak only answer if you are typing correct answer why can't you speak hurry up tell me this answer yes ma'am i asked him what mm -hmm. his name was i asked him what his name was okay now you can mute yourself very good i asked him so said to will change into asked i asked him what yes this thing i was noticing jashan has given me very correct answer because is is changed into was but this helping verb has shifted to last this is the correct rule that you have to shift the helping verb to at after subject okay so i asked him what your will change into your is a second person so second person will change according to object so your will change into according to him so your will change into his what his name and this is will change into was but it will be written after this subject so very good jashan i'm really happy that today you have participated in my class that's really good so be attentive keep it up okay now i want to go with third sentence so third sentence kavarnur are you here can you tell me third answer kavarnur Yes, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, beta. Try to do third sentence. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, he asked me. Okay. Who, whom she wanted to contact? Very good. Very nice. so he asked me in place of comma inverted comma nothing because this speech this reported speech is in interrogative type so who see does is a present tense with the does we have used what is a present tense but whenever present tense is given this present tense will change into past tense so whom she want will change into 
wanted and that is absolutely correct because he has used verb after subject so this is the correct formation of sentence that verb will be used after subject so whom she wanted to contact and after contact you will be writing only full stop that's good i am getting very good response from 9th a very good jashan very good kavar noor keep it up keep on participating in the class very good i'm really happy with your performance now today you, from today onwards you all should be very much attentive and you should give answer like this in this way i get you can say inspiration that my students are listening carefully and i want to teach them more and more okay i want to enhance their knowledge now next answer i expect from divyanshi yes divyanshi you tell me fourth answer you can try unmute yourself divyanshi it means she is not listening that's why she is not un uh, unmuting herself kriti verma do you want to try kriti verma see kriti you can try whether you speak wrong whether you speak right at least try if you will be speaking wrong no problem nobody is going to insult you i will be here to guide yes, you yes now tell me answer he asked me what that what what matter was he asked me what he is the matter Hmm. He asked me what matter is. Is will change into was. Yes. Now speak full sentence. He asked me what the matter was. Very good. He asked me what the matter was. It means is will change into. was and this will be shifted at last see whenever any helping verb comes in interrogative type and uh, you have to change into interrogative into assertive so this helping verb should be written at last he asked me what the matter was clear am i clear with this okay very good keep it up keep it up very good now last question i just want to ask from uh, kirti singh kirti singh you tell me hurry up time is running out tell me fifth answer kirti singh see raghav sharma Raghav, you can unmute yourself and tell me this answer. Hurry up, bache. We are running out of time. Raghav. He asked her why you read that book. Okay. He asked her why uh, you haven't uh, changed this pronoun carefully. See, you is a pronoun. It is a uh, second person. So second person will change according to object. I have given you that. box na 1 2 3 s o n it means if u is given first person is i b me second person is u your and third person is he she and this second person will change according to object now you change this otherwise rest of the sentence was correct he asked her yes now speak you have committed mistake while changing pronoun you correct this otherwise it was correct he asked her why she you will change into tell me type in chat box you will change into you will change according to her so raghav you will change into what all are sending me correct answer raghav i am expecting this answer from you tell me you will change into where has raghav gone now he has left the class 
Okay, Ashmeet, you tell me this answer. Yes, Ashmeet. Ma'am, he asked her why did she read this book. Uh, you you can do in this way also that why did she read this book? Why did she read this book? This will change into this will change that into, that that why did she read that book. That is also correct. Or he asked her why she read that book. This is also correct. So it can be done in two ways. You can change do into did. This is also a correct way. Or you can write down why she read that book. You can also do in this way. So both ways are absolutely fine. You can go with anyone. Now, Bache, you have Sunday. On Sunday, you will be completing your English notebook and you will start sending me for checking. And you are supposed to do this page also in your peer notebook. Okay. Yes, spellings are same of read in past tense. In past, we pronounce the word read, but spellings remain same. Okay, students, now time is over. I have to over this class. Rest of the exercise, interrogative type two, we will be discussing it on Monday. Okay, Bache, thank you and have a nice day and show your enthusiasm for that activity that I have posted in group about Pushpa Gujral Science City. I want maximum participation from my class. Okay, Bache, thank you and have a nice day.